Wow, that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> Super quick. That was so awesome. That's the best way to do a short film. It really is short. <laughs> really short without any point. <laughs> <laughs> well, for another point, we have Tom Radcliffe with, um, with what? The Power of the Lost. The Lost. You may remember him. He's the physicist who actually helped us establish the gravity system on the satellite of Red. He did indeed, but there's some flaws with it. Sometimes it's a little bit strong. <laughs> That'll teach him. Don't worry, Richard. I'll cue up the film. Hey, John. Welcome back to the show. Well, I'm very pleased to be here. Good to see you again. How's yeah. things? Uh, very good. Very good, I think. Yeah. I think you were wearing that same shirt last time. I am. It's amazing. Well, you know, I'm a writer, so I really only have the money for one shirt. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I'm a trillionaire, so I only I buy a thousand of the same one. Yeah, you wear them once and then throw them away? Yeah, pretty much. I just cool. throw them out of the airlock and oh, yeah, see if they make it to the earth. That explains the cloud of shirts trailing behind. It I does. might pick up a few of those, those on my way back. Yeah, yeah because you know, to dress like a trillionaire, that would be quite something. It's not bad, I'll yeah. tell you. Yeah. So tell me about the film that we're going to okay. talk about. Okay. Now, I, uh, this was actually my first film with the Vancouver B Movie Factory. Oh. And I had been looking for a theater group to be involved with. And I came across this meetup group and I thought, hey, I don't know anything about cinema. This will be interesting. And it really was a, an interesting experience as my first time to see how something that looked completely plain while we were doing it turned out quite remarkable on screen. So I went out. We were meeting in a Starbucks or someplace like that. Hmm. And, and I showed up and people were friendly and, and we started talking. And this very strange guy also showed up who was quite aggressive. He started out coming in um, as if there was something theatrical going on and then uh, wanted to guide the discussion in particular directions. He wanted us to be making activist films or films about social justice or films with him as a star or films with him getting arrested. It was all about him. <laughs> and he eventually got very angry because we were interested in making films that were fun and, <laughs> and stormed off shouting. <clears throat> so that was kind of my introduction to the group, which was pretty interesting. That's a different way to start. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, then on the weekend, I showed up. Uh, we were shooting on the other side of the Burrard Street Bridge um, in the bush. And it was a film about witchcraft and power and, and uh, we didn't, and it, with, with a twist in the end, uh, and my girlfriend, Carrie, came with me on the shoot. She hadn't been there at the meeting, but I was like, hey, this is cool, let's go. And she got co-opted to act in the film, mm -hmm. in which I believe she actually did get killed. Again. Because, again, that was, that was her first time getting killed on screen. And after that, most of the time she showed up to shoot, we would kill her just because we, we could. Carrie. Yeah, that might be a good film. It could be. Yeah. 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 Mm. I don't even think we had a script. I think Jimmy was just making it up as he was going along, <laughs> which of course he can do, and, uh, and directing us as we went. Um, and we made this cute little film uh, about a, a powerful being who is a fighting with people who are trying to subdue her. And we don't know whether, you know, who's the good guy, who's the bad guy. And the coolest thing about it was we did all these shots where we were running through the forest. And it was, you know, us, running along and Jimmy running along beside us with the camera or standing in the bush as we went by. And it was completely mundane. But as you'll see in the film, it looks like we're actually running for miles through the forest. So that was, a, I think, my first experience with this whole idea that, yeah, you can actually, you can actually make amazingly cool films from very simple effects. It is amazing, isn't it? The yeah. process, I find that people who haven't done it before have that similar experience. Uh, it's almost universal. Yeah. Right? Where you go and you don't realize how, how much, one, it's, it's make-believe as yeah. an adult. Right? Yeah. So you have to suspend all those inhibitions about you really are playing as a child. Yeah. And then it's, uh, it's a lot of do it again, do it again, yeah. do it again, do yeah. it again, move camera, do it again, do it again. And, and sometimes you think, you know, there's no way this can look good. Yeah. There's no way, you know, that everything's too bright or whatever, whatever. And then you see it all edited together yeah. with the score and whatnot. And it's, wow. Yeah. You know, where did that come from? Yeah. Right. It has changed the way I look at films because sometimes I'll see the actors and I'll, I'll see sort of through the camera and think, oh, my God, this is their 15th take. They're so tired. <laughs> yes. This is the one they went with. It. That's right. Yeah. It wasn't great. Yeah, and they did 10 more after that. You want to watch the film? Yeah, let's. Well, let's do that. Toasty, roll the film. God, 
Yeah. Okay, you're okay. Yeah, you're, you're okay. Let me just check. Someone okay. is doing something to me. Okay, I don't no, know just, why just, I'm just, just relax. Just On a second. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have much. Oh, 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 o